Okay, we're on the west side of the structure, and um, these are the sewer cleanouts. What's this? Okay, these are the sewer cleanouts. You can tell this is the post tension slab. There's different types of post tension slabs, different varieties, but we know this is one variety of post tension slab, and the cables that come through here have been cut off. They have the ends, they've been pulled tight, and then they've been smoothed over. These are what the cables look like because they didn't finish it. They didn't finish it. This is what that looks like. Just in case you want to know what it looked like before. This is not the way it's supposed to be left. Cable ends, right there. Wrong, 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 wrong. Here's another one. Short building wrap. Some people call it house wrap. At top, at top. Right there, you see where it doesn't come through. And it continues on. Continues on, it's short here, short here, short here, short here. Short here. I'm missing a little bit of soffit board right there coming on along it's not around this window fenestration and I'm missing window window wrap there now that little pipe right there that's supposed to be there a little pipe right there that's supposed to be there that's your secondary drain line for your air conditioning system coming on along this Need to be taped and laid out. Okay. And I'll tell you why. Because when the brick sits on top of that, the brick expands and contracts, and it'll stick to the foundation perimeter where the mortar is there, and it won't expand and contract with the rest of them, and all your bricks gonna start cracking around this corner. What's gonna happen? Ramp up there. All these should be flashed. All the penetrations should be flashed. This building wrap is supposed to be burnished. Rolled. There I am. I'm building a house. This wasn't installed right. See that? All the way around the house. All the way around the house. It's not unusual. I see it quite often. But unusual, not unusual or usual or typical, that doesn't mean right. You don't look up those words and find correct in the dictionary. Flashing. More flashing. This window, flashing, blowing in the wind. Is that going to keep the rain out for you? You think that'll stop the rain? No. I just don't. I could be wrong. I'm a home inspector. Home inspectors are wrong a lot. Okay. <clears throat> Over here. There's a brick coming down. See that little metal right there? I don't know why it stops right there. That's weird. Why it kicks up. Maybe there's gonna be masonry on the front. Maybe I should look at the building plans for it to talk too much. So when it comes down here at this corner, this point, my pointer, it gets right down here. There should be a kick out flashing. Kick out flashing should be there. The kick out flashing throws the water this way so it doesn't run down on your brick because your brick is porous. 101 all roofs leak all walls leak we build them so they shed water faster than they accept it but if you got if you don't have a kick out flashing right now, it's just gonna let the water run straight on your brick every time it rains it will this is the building wrap up there building this is the building wrap up there should be sealed should be sealed 
if you haven't seen another video yet, you're about to. But we can do it on this video. The same thing with the patio. You got cedar posts on the patio. With these posts where they meet the ground, they should have stands, S-T-A-N-D-S, -S, metal stands installed underneath them so that water doesn't wick up from the sidewalk, or from the porch, from the flat work. Water doesn't wick up and rot the wood prematurely. It'll take some years. And you have brick around it. Remember, brick is porous. Brick's not watertight. That's why you have all this waterproofing behind the brick. And that's why you need that waterproofing up there, too. Because just because you got brick doesn't mean you got waterproofing. You have to get so far from it. Brick is porous. So even if you have brick around these posts, no, there's supposed to be stands underneath there to keep them from rotting. You might want to stay in this house for a while. Maybe you're not going to sell it in five years. Well, if you don't want your front columns failing on you. Saved by the bell. Well, what are we going to do here? Well, they weren't very patient. It's alright. I'm not patient some days. Some days my patience is pretty short. Look at all this lapping and stuff. Look at this building wrap. Needs another set of eyes and another set of hands to go around this. I'd probably put flashing tape right there and get, be done with it. But no, uh, this is me earlier. When I first walked up, this is the front door. So when I first walked up, I saw this loose flashing tape right there. And just to get the day started, that was my that was my first good deed of the day. There it was. Man, all right. Different phone number. Good home. This is Bud. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, she can. She can make payment. <laughs> I'll I'll wait for that, Mr. Coleman. <laughs> All right, thank you, sir. I'll be here. I'll be here. Bye. So, well, that was my, that was my client. That's one phone call I wanted to take. I sure did want to take that one. Seems like a real, Mr. Coleman, you seem like a real nice person, a real nice family, since you're watching this video. I would have said it anyway, it's the truth. All the way around, really, just about everywhere we go. I'm telling you what, if it was my house, I mean, how much is it going to cost you to put an extra strip of building wrap, house wrap, house paper, build, the extra strip right there. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. This is probably, this is the garage, this is the south wall of the garage. This is probably where the electric meter is going to go. We don't have a meter yet. I also don't have, by the way, I'm not seeing them over these windows. I'm not seeing lentils. Metal lentils going across, spanning across the top. We want lentils. In fact, we want lentils over the doors and windows. I knew something was weird. We're going to come in here and install lentils. What do I do for the, the lentils over the windows? I'm just not seeing it. There's lentils. Here's the lentil material. All right, so we know we've got the garage car entries, side windows, side windows right there. Okay. Here's the PO. This is 
where the first roof video is, or the roof video, actually. I guess this is the second roof video. The garage car entry casement. It's not supposed to be in direct contact with the cement. It's supposed to be a couple of inches above the cement to keep water from waking up, just like the post. Just like the post. This one looks okay. One out of six is not bad. A lot of baseball players don't do so, what we do as well. All this, all this just needs to be redone, man. This is another set of eyes and another set of hands all the way around. There we go. will save us both. This is the fireplace. Has a cricket. Somebody's phone's going crazy. This is the air conditioning units. This is where the condensing units are going to go. There's that cable that we started with. And a lot of this is redundant. Uh, no kick out flashing. No kick out flashing. Like I said, we need some flashing tape over these. And there, the, these refrigerant lines are sealed. The one was cramped. I can't find the other one. Where are you? That was sealed. It's open on the other end. It's open on the other end. So this will be, but that tells us the orientation is a little backwards than you would imagine. Well, we don't know that. I don't know that. Never mind. I got ahead of myself. I do. I'm a head of self-getter. No chimney cap yet.